Hey guys, in this video we are going to uh, make some utility classes and some utility functions which we would need to run in the background while uh, so that our bars could start moving. Okay, so I'll, and I'm going with the conventions, so I'll follow some conventions and I'll create an enum here. It's a state and uh, I have three states: waiting, uh, waiting, sorting, and done. Uh, three states because uh, when my bar hasn't been yet selected and so it is in the waiting state and once the bar is selected it would start sorting it is in the then it, is, it would be in the sorting state and once it has been sorted it would be in the done state and uh, another thing i would make an interface let's say a sorter and uh, i will add certain methods like a change listener change listener listener okay so why i change listener well uh, whenever we create a gui based application using swings and uh, we want to move the certain tools which are made in the gui we need a certain type of listener this is called change listener this is a, a type of listener which gets fired when a particular change in event occurs my another uh, function would be void remove change listener change listener change this listener and uh, get values get values this is just for the returning me the array which in the, uh, like i created an example array in the sorting panel uh, okay and uh, that could be sort uh, sort sort because of the uh, different sorting algorithm both sort selection sort whatever sort you want to apply you could, you could just uh, uh, give an implementation to this function and uh, you'd be done okay and uh, let's say void uh, Mm, what else yeah we could also check uh, that if a particular bar is yet selected or not so boolean is active index we could check that if a particular index is selected or not and uh, and the last could be uh, like uh, i want to know the state of each of the bars so state and get state and we are done all right so now we need all right guys so uh, now we need a class uh, let's call this implementation and this is the last utility function uh, it's implementation and say implement sorter all right and uh, it would be an abstract class i'll tell you why and let's override every function except the sort function and you see uh, we didn't uh, override the sort function and and because of that uh, we need to declare a class as abstract because whenever you implement an interface you need to uh, provide the definition to every function else your class must be abstract okay so i'll add some members here let's say a private um, state uh, state and initially initially all the states would be state of waiting so and private my array could be uh, values and uh, private list of change listeners okay, let's say listeners and private list of integers could be active indices yeah let me import this mm, and i'll also create the constructor and i'll pass the array values this dot uh, values equal to values and uh, listener let's call this listeners because it is an array list so new array list and active indices equal to new array list and uh, let's now provide the definitions <coughs> let's change this one very easy you just need to add this particular listener to the list of your all the listeners listeners or add this listener if we follow the conventions the program becomes very easy and for, for the user and as well as for any non-technical person it would become not much of a hassle listeners dot remove listener and let's say get values return me the values and uh, is active index i'll check that if my particular index is a part of my active indices list then return me true as return me false so return active indices dot contains index if 
if the index is contained it would return true as false get state return me the state all right now it's a, let's say add some of our methods all right so my first method would be public uh, void set active indices and i'll provide some limits let's say lower limit and an upper limit and i'll reset my list add this lower then this upper limit and i'll call fire state changed which would be a function which would notify that a state has been changed for all the bars and let us create this function fire state changed fire state changed and uh, yeah. I'll check if my listeners dot size is greater than zero. That means it is not empty. Then I'll create <coughs> an event to notify new change event and this and uh, for change listeners listener in listeners. I'll just state change. I'll just notify that your state has been changed through this event. Okay, this is called. Uh, this is the definition for the fire state changed. And uh, our another method would be say public void uh, set state, and I will provide state here state uh, state so state uh, value. And in case that particular state which was this state is not equal to this value, I want this state to become the new value and uh, because the state has been changed I'll have, I'll have to call this function fire state changed okay so we now just need uh, to make the last last uh, method let's say swap swap is just for the it is just a utility utility method for the sorting algorithms like we need to swap the items when we saw uh, when we sort so i'll just define this here so in array it would work on an array and i'll pass the two indices integer and uh, let's say fire state changed or better i will i will only call fire state change after i have sort i have not yet sort so i can't call it yet i'll say set active indices i comma j and uh, say int temp equals to array of i and array of i equals to array of j array of j equals to time and once they have been swapped i need to call the fire state changed okay so now we are done with this utility class and uh, let me just give it a check right guys so we are done creating all these utility background classes and functions and in the next video we will add the this these functionalities to our gui which we created this sorting panel so i hope you guys are understanding and you are you guys are trying it by yourself and i'll see you guys soon in the next